Indication. Sucrade Sacrosides Oral Solution is an enzyme replacement therapy for the treatment of genetically determined sucrase deficiency, which is part of congenital sucrase isomaltase deficiency, or CSID. Important safety information for Sucrade Sacrosides Oral Solution. Sucrade may cause a serious allergic reaction. If you notice any swelling or have difficulty breathing, get emergency help right away. Tell your doctor if you are allergic to, have ever had a reaction to, or have ever had difficulty taking yeast, yeast products, papain, or glycerin and glycerol. Sucrate does not break down some sugars that come from the digestion of starch. You may need to restrict the amount of starch in your diet. Your doctor will tell you if you should restrict starch in your diet. Tell your doctor if you have diabetes as your blood glucose levels may change if you begin taking Sucrade. Your doctor will tell you if your diet or diabetes medicines need to be changed. Some patients treated with Sucrade may have worse abdominal pain, vomiting, nausea, or diarrhea, constipation, difficulty sleeping, headache, nervousness, and dehydration have also occurred in patients treated with Sucrade. Check with your doctor if you notice these or other side effects. Sucrate has not been tested to see if it works in patients with secondary acquired sucrase deficiency. Never heat sucrate or put it in warm or hot beverages or infant formula. Do not mix sucrate with fruit juice or take it with fruit juice. Take sucrate as prescribed by your doctor. Normally, half the dose of sucrate is taken before a meal or snack and the other half is taken during the meal or snack. Sucrate should be refrigerated at 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, and should be protected from heat and light. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. Hi, I'm Hannah. Today, I am going to share with you some tips on how to keep Sucrade Sacrosides oral solution cold when you are traveling away from home. For those who are born with sucrose intolerance caused by congenital sucrase isomaltase deficiency, or CSID, Sucrade is an important enzyme replacement that you need to take whenever you eat a snack or meal. So if you have CSID managed with Sucrade, wherever you go, Sucrade goes. Because Sucrate must be kept refrigerated and protected from light, traveling with Sucrate can be a challenge, whether going to school, the office, or on an extended trip. Here are some tips to make it a bit easier to travel with Sucrate. The first hurdle is how to keep the Sucrate bottle cold during short trips while you are in transit. One way to transport Sucrate is in a smaller cooler or insulated lunchbox with reusable gel packs or ice blocks or you can carry the Sucrate bottle in a wide-mouthed thermos-type bottle that has been cooled in the refrigerator and packed with ice. There are also insulated bags you can purchase that are intended to be used for baby bottles. Ideally, these bags have pockets for reusable ice gels or ice blocks. As you can see, these are just the right size for keeping a Sucrate bottle cold. The next hurdle is where to store the Sucrate bottle to keep it cold while you are away from home. If the Sucrate bottle is taken to school, it is helpful for parents to speak with the school administrators in advance to determine where the container can be kept cold during the school day. Often there is a refrigerator that the child may have access to, either in the classroom, the cafeteria, or the school office. To avoid any confusion, it's a good idea to add an identifying label to the outside of the container. For younger school children, it may be helpful to walk them through the process each morning until it is routine for everyone involved. Some children may find it is more convenient to keep one bottle of Sucrade in a refrigerator at school rather than bringing a Sucrade bottle to and from school every day. If the Sucrade bottle is taken to work, the procedure may be simpler. Many work environments today have a break room with a refrigerator for everyone to use. Again, an identifying label on the outside of the container is always a good idea. But what about longer trips? If you're traveling in a motor vehicle, the solution is simple. 
Find a cooler that will fit in your vehicle and load it up with bags of ice. Carry the Sucrade bottle in a smaller cooler or other container inside the larger cooler. The Sucrade should stay cold all day. For overnight trips, find out in advance if your destination has a refrigerator available. If you are traveling by air or crossing any borders, you should have your prescribing doctor complete and sign a letter like this one that explains why you need to carry Sucrade in a cooler with you when you travel. The Transportation Security Administration, or TSA, will permit prescription liquid medications and other liquids needed by persons with disabilities and medical conditions. This includes all prescription and over-the-counter medications. This also includes gels or frozen liquids needed to cool disability or medically related items used by persons with disabilities or medical conditions. When you and your carry-on luggage are screened at the airport by the TSA or by customs officials, this letter goes a long way to answer any questions. And don't worry, Sucrade can go through the x-ray machine as part of the security process without the scan affecting the ability of Sucrade to continue working. You may download a copy of this letter on the Sucrate Assist website. Remember to return your Sucrate to the refrigerator when you return home or arrive at your destination. Happy travels! Indication Sucrate Saccharosides Oral Solution is an enzyme replacement therapy for the treatment of genetically determined sucrase deficiency, which is part of congenital sucrase isomaltase deficiency, or CSID, Important safety information for Sucrade Saccharosidase oral solution. Sucrade may cause a serious allergic reaction. If you notice any swelling or have difficulty breathing, get emergency help right away. Tell your doctor if you are allergic to, have ever had a reaction to, or have ever had difficulty taking yeast, yeast products, papain, or glycerin and glycerol. Sucrate does not break down some sugars that come from the digestion of starch. You may need to restrict the amount of starch in your diet. Your doctor will tell you if you should restrict starch in your diet. Tell your doctor if you have diabetes, as your blood glucose levels may change if you begin taking Sucrate. Your doctor will tell you if your diet or diabetes medicines need to be changed. Some patients treated with Sucrate may have worse abdominal pain, vomiting, nausea, or diarrhea, constipation, difficulty sleeping, headache, nervousness, and dehydration have also occurred in patients treated with Sucrate. Check with your doctor if you notice these or other side effects. Sucrate has not been tested to see if it works in patients with secondary acquired sucrase deficiency. Never heat Sucrate or put it in warm or hot beverages or infant formula. Do not mix Sucrate with fruit juice or take it with fruit juice. Take Sucrate as prescribed by your doctor. Normally, half the dose of Sucrate is taken before a meal or snack, and the other half is taken during the meal or snack. Sucrate should be refrigerated at 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit, which is two to eight degrees Celsius, and should be protected from heat and light. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov slash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088.